Barry Mazza's article, Chords That Ukulele Players Really Want to Know, delves into the world of ukulele playing by exploring the essential chords that beginners and enthusiasts desire to master. In this literary analysis, we will examine how Maz effectively communicates his passion for the ukulele, his target audience, and the educational value of his article. Maz begins by establishing his credibility as a ukulele expert. He mentions his experience as a ukulele teacher and founder of Gata Ukulele, a popular online resource for ukulele enthusiasts. This establishes his ethos, which lends credibility to the information he provides throughout the article. By doing so, he effectively captures the attention of his target audience, aspiring ukulele players seeking guidance from a trusted source. The author's tone throughout the article is both informative and enthusiastic. He uses accessible language and avoids overly technical jargon, ensuring that his content is approachable for beginners. For example, when introducing the G, C, and D chords, he describes them as the three amigos, a playful and relatable metaphor that adds charm to the article. Maz's use of this kind of colloquial language fosters a sense of camaraderie between him and his readers, making them feel like they're learning from a friend rather than a distant expert. Maz's article is structured logically, with each chord introduced in a clear and concise manner. He provides visual diagrams alongside written explanations, catering to various learning styles. This combination of text and visuals aids comprehension and retention, a thoughtful approach to teaching. Additionally, the author offers valuable tips on chord transitions and finger placement, enhancing the educational value of the article. He doesn't merely list chords but ensures that readers understand how to use them effectively. One of the strengths of Mazza's article is his ability to connect with the emotional aspects of learning the ukulele. He acknowledges that mastering these chords is a milestone for beginners, and he encourages readers by stating that, you are now a ukulele player, once they've learned these foundational chords. This motivational aspect of his writing helps maintain the reader's interest and enthusiasm throughout the learning process. The author's love for the ukulele shines through in his writing. He shares personal anecdotes about his own ukulele journey, which adds a human touch to the article. For instance, he mentions how the ukulele changed his life, making it clear that his passion for the instrument goes beyond technical expertise. This emotional connection fosters a sense of trust and admiration from the reader, further solidifying his authority on the subject. Moreover, Maz anticipates and addresses potential challenges that learners might encounter. He provides advice on dealing with sore fingers, a common issue for beginners. By offering solutions and reassurance, he demonstrates empathy for his readers' experiences. This empathetic approach is crucial for keeping learners motivated and engaged. The article's conclusion is both encouraging and forward-looking. Maz leaves readers with the idea that learning the ukulele is an ongoing journey. He suggests exploring more chords and songs, instilling a sense of curiosity and excitement in his audience. This forward-looking perspective encourages readers to continue their ukulele practice beyond the basics, reinforcing the idea that playing the ukulele is not just a skill but a lifelong passion. In conclusion, Barry Mazza's article, Chords That Ukulele Players Really Want to Know, is a well-crafted piece of writing that effectively communicates his expertise and passion for the ukulele. He connects with his target audience through relatable language, provides clear and valuable information, and offers emotional support and encouragement. Through this article, Maz not only teaches ukulele chords but also inspires and empowers aspiring ukulele players, fostering a deeper love for the instrument.